Despite being an island, for some reason, the UK isn't known for its beaches. However, what we lack in sun and sand, we more than make up for in rugged coastal cliff walks. Because you can't burn off fish and chips sitting on the beach. In today's video, I'm visiting what are probably the most famous cliffs in England, the White Cliffs of Dover, and trying to figure out if the cliffs are really that great or if they're just popular because they're only a day trip away from London. I am at St. Pancras Station. It is early and I'm ready to meet Sarah to finally do a day trip. Oh my God, I'm actually so excited to be in a transportation terminal where I can go somewhere outside of London for the first time in like six months. So we're gonna do a day trip and we're gonna see the white cliffs of Dover and a food market because of course. We are in Deal. <laughs> Woo! We're out of, first time out of London in ages. Months. Ages. My first travel vlog, because this is a travel vlog in a long time. So Deal is on the coast of England, the south coast, right? Yeah, yeah. It's on the south coast and we're walking from Deal to the White Cliffs of Dover. I've got a rhubarb pastry. I am with Sarah. I think you're in the frame right now and it's about a four hour walk. It's cold, it's sunny. We're excited to be here and I'm about to make deal puns. What's the deal? It's <laughs> a big deal. Meal deal. Okay, <laughs> now for cake. In my rush to make deal puns, I forgot to mention where I got the aforementioned rhubarb pastry. Every Saturday in Deal, there is a market that sells all different types of food and treats. Is that the whole reason I arranged our walk to start in Deal? Perhaps. Don't tell Sarah. I pretended it was the prettiest route. Hi. What are these ones? They're um, apple and cinnamon Chelsea buns. Ooh, and what's the rhubarb one? Um, they are a uh, compote in the middle, and it's an almond um, sponge. We're taking a pre oh, snack. Oops. I've started eating mine. I couldn't wait. I'm mostly joking about choosing the hike because of its proximity to food. The route from Deal to Dover means you get to walk along the famous cliffs and you don't have to retrace your steps, which means I can kid myself that the hike isn't really that long. It's a 10 mile walk with panoramic views of the English Channel, passing castles, countryside, and coastline. Forgotten how many castles there are in England. We stumble on a random one. Yeah, I don't think it's, it's playing any part in defending our nation, so. Made it to the cliffs are now in the background. Cute pub if you're hungry. Apparently on a nice day, you can see France from Dover and it is a very clear day. So we think that that is France over there, which we're not allowed to visit on account of COVID. So this is as close as we're getting. Send baguettes. Dover and Deal are waiting to see if we can get into this pub for some fish and chips, but we're killing time by eating ice cream. Dessert first. Mm -hmm. Wow, wow, wow. And um, we're overlooking France. Not a bad place to wait. We have stopped for food, finally got some Yum. loaded fries. 
and fish and chips and a view of the cliffs. <laughs> We have finished lunch. Oh, and, and now, now it's now so heavy coming up this hill. Right, right uphill. We're slightly, not lost, but confused. <laughs> Sarah's made an executive decision. Yeah. Sarah's being a good Instagram boyfriend. <laughs> it's a really pretty place. You've got all the things in the background. Are in like jeans and Converse sneak like Converse sneakers, ready to go to for a fancy dinner. And the other half have like hiking poles and look like they're about to hike to Everest. I think we're like halfway happy medium. Happy medium. We got our ski socks, but but we're still looking cute, <laughs> in my humble opinion. <laughs> So we have finished our hike. We got off from the path and now we are walking to the train station. And when you walk, you see these pretty houses and they're just right underneath the cliff. It's crazy. Honestly, this is one of the coolest things on the hike so far. Imagine being shadowed by giant Jurassic cliffs in pretty pink houses. Very cool. We just made it onto the train. We're on the fast train back to London from Dover. It should take about an hour and then we're home. It was a really good day. If you need a drink trip from London, it's a good option. And honestly, the walk from Dover to Deal isn't that far. First travel vlog in so long and I am sore and tired, but happy to have done something that isn't right near my house. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and remember to like and subscribe.